What is going on guys, one more here and bring us a brand new episode of Commander Station, the best station for Commander's Nation. <sighs> I am here making a video today about our trade for Carson Wentz. I'm so happy about it. Can't you tell how happy I am? I'm grinning ear to ear. It's all authentic and genuine. Not fake at all. I'm not putting on a show at all. I'm just dying inside, just a little bit. It's going great. It's going great. It's going great. I love this team. I love this team. We let go of Brandon Sheriff. We let go of JD McKissick. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We kept Troy Apke. We kept Troy Apke, guys. Bye, McCain. I'll give him that. Bye, McCain. Good. The reason I haven't made this video in a week is for a couple reasons. One, I've been very busy. Two, after I uploaded a Bush Gardens vlog, I like to give it some time to uh, breathe and get some viewership. And three, I've been under the weather. Not under the weather because of the trade. However, that hasn't helped. Well, you know, it's, 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 it's cool, guys. It's cool. We can have a cool nickname, Commander Carson Wentz. Commander Carson. What's better than that? Last week, we traded with the Indianapolis Colts for Carson Wentz. We exchanged third rounders and a couple of later round picks. It's just disappointing. Not that we're getting Carson Wentz. Uh, I'll go into what I think about him as a player in a minute. My issue with this is the team was like, we're going after a quarterback. We're willing to spend anything and everything on a quarterback. And obviously, they haven't been too sad about letting some of the key players go so I mean I believe that I'm like okay these guys are willing to do whatever to get a key franchise quarterback and then you end up with Carson Wentz two years ago I would have been yo this is awesome now it's kind of like that's the best you could do really there was no other quarterback you could get Carson Wentz is the best you could do it's it's here he and Taylor Heineke and Kyle Allen they are QB room Personally, at least at the moment, I'm, I tweeted this and I'll still stick by it. I would stick with Taylor Heineke more than Carson Wentz. I know I would get bombed for that comment. I don't care. I don't care. Here's the thing. Do I still hope we draft a quarterback? Yes. Do I really want Malik? Yes. But let's get real. Let's get real about Carson Wentz. He's not a bad quarterback. He's okay. He was really good. He was great at times, but he's okay. He's meh. He plays hero ball. QB locker room needs no more than one person that plays hero ball. And Heineke plays hero ball. Gives me a heart attack every time, but I love it. I don't need two guys that are willing to give me a heart attack. And hearing Pat McAfee's thoughts and all these other guys' thoughts, I'm going to have a heart attack every single time this guy takes the freaking field. Because he plays hero ball and tries to make an amazing play out of any play. That's not what we need. We need someone who, yes, can make that heroic play. Yes, can make that big play. But doesn't rely on that every single play. That's not how you win games. That's how you either are a really high-powered offense or you're asking the defense, hey, can you come bail us out after every drive? Which has been what we've done as a team for years. It's like, our offense just couldn't get it done. All right, defense. Let's go. I'm tired of that. I want a QB that I felt could demand this offense, could lead this offense. We couldn't wait a couple more days for Deshaun Watson's hearing. Now either the Saints, the Falcons, the Browns, the Panthers are going to possibly get Deshaun Watson. He might go and ball out for him. You know, he could still get suspended. We'll see. Point is, you should have waited at least a couple more days to make sure you did your due diligence on what could be the one of the top QBs in the league. Apparently, Russell just d denied our offer, which was like three first rounders. So, uh, can't get too mad at the team for that, I guess. At least not the team side of the team. <clears throat> not getting into that. And Aaron Rodgers, that was never going to happen, let's be honest. Not. Um, Jimmy G, I feel like it's a toss-up between him and Carson, which one I would take. He's not a bad quarterback. He's a great person. Off the field, phenomenal person. However, I've gotten to the point where as a fan, I... Don't give two rips of what the guy is like off the field. As long as he's not doing something inappropriate and illegal. Then I have an issue with it. I mean, like, personality-wise, I really don't care. He could be a douche. But as long as he's a douche appropriately and wins football games, that's fine with me. I don't care. 
I just want to win games. And this is anything. Will, you're being very negative in this review. If you've been a Washington fan, or you've observed Washington for the past couple of years, all we have are negative things. I would like to say something positive. However, as a Washington fan, about all the positiveness has been taken out of me, and I haven't seen it since 20. 21 at the beginning with the playoff run that was about the most positive I've seen since 2015 it's just disappointing man look okay he's pretty pretty good he gets saying he's injury prone no he's not really injury prone he missed only what four games in the past couple years because he tore the ACL the Super Bowl year for the Eagles the very last game against the Rams and we all know that story and he sprained both of his ankles on the same play last year for the Colts and missed some time and he played. He was playing really good before the injury, and then when he came back from the injury, it was hero ball, and also it seemed like he forgot how to play the quarterback position. I've never seen QB ratings like that in my life. Ooh. He's he's a Washington commander now. We had to go in there with what we've done every single year for the past several seasons. Hopeless optimism. Let's go. Now, I will say, here's the point. It's the first time... If you really look at it, he's had a really top-tier receiver in their prime in his career. Now, you can make the case for Michael Pittman, T.Y. Hilton. You can make the case for these guys. But you really, if you really look at it, it's the first time. You know, Terry McLaurin in his prime. He's about to get a payday sometime soon. Curtis Samuel, still in his prime. Let him heal up. If he heals up right and goes back to being the Curtis Samuel we knew when we signed last year, phenomenal. Receiver. If DeAndre Carter is still a starting slot and he looks like he's entering his prime, I mean, that's three standout receivers. Not to mention, I'm sure we're going to go after one in the draft. Who knows what free agency is going to end up bringing. I just, I want to see a bigger splash from Washington. That's really what I wanted to see. And every Washington fan wants to see it. So I don't think, oh, you're just being greedy. Every Washington fan was, was expecting and was being hyped up for a bigger splash than Carson Wentz. The guy's a good guy. You know, I think, you know, there's been rumors that he might divide the locker room a little bit or might not be the greatest leader. But then when he left, the way the Colts players rallied around him says otherwise. So time will tell. You don't really want to go off the rumors. But we'll just see how it goes. I'm going there with optimism. You know, can he be good? Can he be great? Yes, he can be great. He, I've seen him play against us specifically. He balls against us. So maybe it's just when he plays on the same field as the Washington team, maybe that's just what puts him up here so now that's gonna be an every week thing maybe we're gonna have MVP right here right now you never know with this team you really never know this team is a roller coaster ride and I'm never getting off of it no matter how rough it is I thought about filming this video when I was thinking about filming it I was like you know I want to be really optimistic and really hopeful and look to the future and then when, as soon as I hit record I was like eh, I'm gonna be real I'm not happy about it. I'm a week away. I'll give myself some time to think, looked at some game film, read some more stuff, and I feel better about it. I don't hate the decision as much. I don't like it, but I'm content with it. That's what I just have to be as a fan. You just got to be content with what's happening. So that's where I am. I am content that Carson Wentz is a Washington commander. Can't wait to see him in the Eastern Motors commercials, guys. That might be the best product he makes while he's on this team. I hope not. But in all in all, I mean, I've made the jokes. I think he can thrive here. I think he can really jump, restart his career. If he plays like he did the first half of last season and his best years in Philly, if that Carson Wentz still exists, we're in for a treat. We're in for entertainment every week, heart-stopping entertainment. I'm, I'm, Part of me is excited to see if that version, because I've seen that version with my own eyes. He's scarred me for life with some of the games he's played in Philly. And I hope that I get to see that again, because if I see that again, we're in for something special. Fingers crossed we get to see it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I think it's a fine, it's a decent move. It's not a good move. It's not a great move. It's okay. It's I guess it's a good move. So we having to pick up that contract. That contract is disgusting. And it's like wiped us of our money. We had like up here in money, and now we're like down here in money. I don't think he's worth the contract. That's my biggest thing. I think it's hindering us from making bigger splashes in free agency because he's taking up most of our money. But we'll see, you know. Time will tell. You'll hear my perspective get more optimistic as the offseason goes on and the season comes closer.
But that's how I feel at the moment. Let me know what y'all think down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you're notified every single time of a brand new episode of Commander Station to the channel. And I'm Morris and I'm out. Peace.